Greetings, my lovely tubadors. Uh, now, some of you will have seen the video that I uploaded uh, yesterday, um, or the last video that I uploaded anyway, uh, concerning this vile piece of sputum here. Now, if you watch that video, you will have realised by now that he should probably be in some kind of, be in some kind of institution, um, the sort of place that's got uh, good sedatives, crayons, and very very soft walls. Um, if you haven't seen my first video on this fella, then I would advise you to go and have a look at it before you continue with this video. I'll put a link in the description below. Go and have a look at that and then come back and watch the rest of this video. It'll give it some sort of context. Now, you remember that this, this fella sees, um, he sees sexual references in, in just about everything. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> it can be um people's names it can be labels on foodstuffs the shapes of clouds doesn't really matter and he thinks that all this is controlled by um either the media freemasons or some kind of shadowy illuminati and now it came as quite a surprise to me but this fella is actually allowed out um and he's been shopping you see this fella, he's been to the supermarket. Um, the only problem is that our misogynistic, white supremacist, Jew-hating, ultra-paranoid friend um, must have enormous difficulty in actually finding anything um, to buy when he goes to the supermarket, um, anything that he doesn't object to anyway. Um, but fortunately for us, uh, he took his camera with him um, and he films himself in the supermarket and that's what we're going to concentrate on today um, a little update to yesterday's video again showing the sheer level of lunacy that is is out there um, so why don't we let him tell us a bit more about it hey everybody listen i have to be careful what i say because i'm at the supermarket and people can hear me Okay then, heading first to the cakey treat aisle. What can we find there? Okay, look at the name of these two products. You got the Ho-Ho's and the Ding Dong. And why wouldn't he want to put a Ding Dong in his mouth? They actually look quite tasty. And look, it says peanut butter. And <laughs> peanut butter has the, has the, almost the word peanuts. You see it? Peanut. Hmm. Okay, no joy there then. So I think perhaps we'd best nip down to the drinks aisle. What does he find there to wet his whistle? Look at this. Apple juice has the pee pee. That's right. And look at this product. It's, it's a tomato cocktail. And it's called Clam Motto. <laughs> it's got the clam in it. And you know the clam is the vagina. I've actually tasted Clamato. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's... Um, mixture of clam and tomato which does admittedly sound like the sperm of the devil but um it's actually not too bad there's even a, a vodka clamato drink you can get but um i don't do vodka um okay so he doesn't want to drink this apple juice because of the pee pee he doesn't want to drink the clamato because uh, it's indicative of the vag and i think he has something against badge to be honest um so how about some milk then and here's some milk look at this look at on this one it says grass milk and grass milk has the ass in it right and then this one says ass fed <laughs> that's right it's ass fed milk can you believe this no milk for mr aslick so in that case then you won't be needing any cups to put it in and look at this. These are cups, right? And you put the cup to your mouth, right? And it's called Dixie. <laughs> it's Dixie cups. Because they want you to put the dick near your mouth. Do you understand that? Well, he might have a dog. Um, how about some uh, some treats for, for his, his little puppy then? And here's one for the heterosexual dudes. It's called Nipples and Bits, but it sounds like Nipples and Tits. <laughs> you see that? Nipples and tits. Nipples and tits. I want me some nipples and tits. Well, it would seem as though the poor dog is going to go hungry as well. Um, 
How about some bread? Nobody can take any offense at bread, but you will need some butter. So here's some butter. It's like, it's like butter. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it says cunt, tree, crock. And you know crock, if you take out the R, it's the word cock. So it's got the cunt, tree, cock. Dry bread for tea then. Um, I suppose you could make a, a sausage sandwich, but you will need some ketchup to go on that. This is hunts, and you know what this sounds like when you say hunts, right? If you turn the H into a C. And every Jew wants to live here. Look at this, Johnsonville. <laughs> it's, it's the Wienerville, and it's a sausage, it's a sausage company. Can you believe this? As usual, he is altering everything he sees to fit his own personal agenda. Um, it's, it's like he wants there to be a conspiracy, and he is determined to see that conspiracy, whatever it takes. Um, it also proves this guy's insanity that, um, that he, he can even project his vile anti-Semitism onto some sausages. Um, and his anti-Semitism doesn't stop there. Um, he can even find an excuse to vent it over a jar of gherkins. And here's one for the rabbis. <laughs> they love the kosher baby pickles. <laughs> Look at this, will you? <laughs> it's baby pickles. I actually find myself asking whether there is anything at all in the supermarket that this fellow will take home to put in his fridge or in his cupboards. It seems like everything reminds him of the pee pee. And look, you got a pee pee tart. And look, you have a chewy pee pee. And look at this, you got the log cabin. And the log is the wiener. <laughs> Molasses has the ass in it too. And everybody eats popcorn. And popcorn has the pee pee. And popsicle has the pee pee. Look at this one, it's the pee pee bomb. And if you're having a party and you want a lot of ice cream, you can get the party pale pee pee. Pampers has the pee pee in it. Then you have Johnson's and Johnson baby shampoo. That's right, and the Johnson is the wiener. And Skippy has the pee pee. And Pepsi has the pee pee in it. Dr. Pepper has the pee pee in it. Pepper has the pee pee too. And here's some salad dressing. It's got the butt in buttermilk. And look at this creamy cucumber. <laughs> they love the creamy cucumber, those butt pluggers. And it's got the cum in cucumber. Can you believe this? Now, I don't know if any of you have come to the same conclusion as I have about this fellow, but he does seem very, very fond of going on about wieners, peepees, um, log, cock, Johnson. Methinks the gentleman doth protest too much. Mm. Now, in the first video I made concerning this fella, I didn't give any definite references to his channel. I did not want to give him the oxygen of publicity. But a few people have got in touch um, asking if, if I would tell them his channel name so they can go and take a look at it uh, because they found him as disgusting as I do. And so in the link below, uh, in the description below, I'm going to put a link to his channel or oh, I won't put a link to his channel but I will put the name of his channel um, and then you can go and search for it yourself um, you will probably come to the same conclusions as me that the fellow is absolutely insane and um, whilst I'm very much in favor of freedom of speech I don't like censorship I don't like what YouTube have been doing with things like you know just removing all the flat earthers and what have you I genuinely do believe that people should have um, an opportunity and a right to speak their minds within reason you know it, it, i think people should be able to speak their voice on politics and on you know flat earth um globe earth gun rights uh, 18th century croatian basket weaving if that's what flicks your switch then you should be able to to speak about it but there's a difference between speaking about something whether or not it's nonsense and a difference between disseminating hatred hatred is no good for anyone it's no good for the person being hated and it's no good for the hater we don't need it there's too much hate and if any of you go to this guy's channel and see the sort of things that i've seen there then trust me you will want to get him removed as well if if you've got any sort of semblance of humanity you will anyway
but that aside i just wanted to put this out there because uh, you know as a, as a little kind of uh, a little uh, update to yesterday's i wish i'd found this video before i'd made yesterday's video because i would have just included a few of these bits but um if you enjoyed if you made it this far please do consider subscribing little subscribe button down here somewhere um if you want a, a notification next time i post something press the little bell and youtube will send you uh, an email on my behalf um i'll be back a bit later in the week um again going back to the sort of classics i found a superb nonsensical video by somebody who is absolutely convinced that they have genuinely found the answer to the flat earth model and that they are not they've got this evidence and it's undeniable so i'll have great fun tearing that to pieces so thank you for watching please do take care be safe and i will catch you next time until then hoil vaur